Hello everybody and welcome to the 1CNC tutorial on chamfering. As you can see on the uh, drawing I have a 100mm square rectangle with 20mm rads on the corners and what I want to do is produce a 2x45 chamfer around the top of it. So if I go into the NC manager, dock it in position and if we go into the 2D toolpaths we're going to select chamfering. Select OK. And you can see at the bottom here it says pick a position, start. And as you can see on my mouse, start is active. So if I select my left mouse button where I want it, then I get the indication arrows, which is on the cut on the inside or the outside, climb mill or conventional mill. Well, I want to climb mill, select the end right click and you can see we've got a, a 10 milli chamfering tool in there um, tool 1 length offset number 1 diameter offset 1 I've got my speeds and feeds etc select next and I've got my rapid plane set at 5 my plunge clearance 1 select next now this is the area here in question regards the chamfering tool and what one CNC does is it looks at the size of your chamfering tool and you can imagine that's the diameter and you've got 45 degrees the angle down the side there and what one CNC tries to do is find the sweet spot between the length of this chamfer here so it can cut this um, sh 2 milli chamfer and equally space it out amongst the length of the hypotenuse there so you see on the screen at the moment it's got I've got position number one which is normal which I've drawn my contour on the Z0. So the position for that would be number one. Um, if I was going to select the contour which might be at the bottom of the chamfer, of course I would select number two for the bottom. But as it is, I've selected the one at the top. Okay, now you know I'm on the drawings, it always asks you for either a 2 by 45 3 by 45 a 6 by 45 chamfer around the job. Well, this is this area here in the width. This is the area for the size of chamfer you require. So, we'll leave it on automatic because it adjusts itself to find the equal of the length of that. So, if I wanted, let's say, um, a 5 milli chamfer, I would put 5 in there. And then it calculates the length. Well, the length actually is of the hypotenuse of that there. So, if I said a 1 milli chamfer, and you was to trig it out it would work out the hypotenuse would be 1.414 so if you want a size of chamfer which is in this area here I'm going to put a 2 by 45 chamfer select next put a lead in lead out you can either line and line or you can use line and arc but I'll just use the line and a line select finish and you can see the toolpath's been created on the top there. I'm just going to go into uh, default view. Okay, let's go into here. Right click and let's simulate what we've got. Well, I'm going to pick a boundary. I'm going to pick, pick the material itself as the boundary. And I'm going to go 25 milli deep. So select OK. Pick the contour. Right click and you can see it's created the size of the model there which is 25 just move that over a little bit slightly which material is 25 okay just rerun that again so you can see now it's putting a 2 milli chamfer on the top but you may ask the question is it a 2 milli chamfer so I'm just going to show you um, a little way that I uh, worked out to see if we're producing a 2 milli chamfer so if you just go into a CAD view and I'm only doing this to show you it's you don't have to do this yourself as long as you fill in the box to to create that chamfer if I just go into toolbox and create myself a line uh, back home line offset I'm going to offset this by 2 milli because that's the size of my chamfer pick it direction select the end Okay, so I've offset that 2mm because that should be the top of my chamfer. 
I'm also going to take this and select the end and I'm going to move it make one copy select OK and increment and minus two okay so you can see I just deselect all I've created that would be the size of the chamfer on the job and just to make it a bit more obvious I'm just going to pick this contour select the end and pick the bottom contour select the end I'm going to modify it I'm going to change the color to red and I'm also going to make the line style a little bit thicker so you can see it deselect all okay so what I want to do now is if I right click and simulate it I will show the geometry on top so we can see it select OK I want to pick the blue one as the for my stock right click and you can see the red line at the top and at the bottom so you can see we've created a 2 milli chamfer on top I've only put the red lines on so you can see what it what it looks like just close that down again just move that back to where it is and just get rid of them, them two were only for me to show so that's a brief introduction into uh, chamfering in one CNC hope that helps get you started and thank you for watching